Hey there, it's Ash from Elementor. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an age gate for a website. This incredibly useful feature can be utilized when you need to restrict your website's content for a particular age category. Some use cases could be a bar, a brewery, or in our case, a wine merchant. We'll explore three different methods to accomplish this task, all of which will make good use of the Elementor pop-up feature. The first will be created using two buttons. If the user is old enough, they can select so, and they are granted access to the website. If they're not old enough, an error message is displayed, and they will be unable to navigate any further. Our second method will utilize the acceptance box on a form. If left unchecked, the user will not be able to navigate past the pop-up. When checked and submitted, however, the pop-up will disappear and allow them to view the website. Our final and most advanced method will make good use of the date field in a form, which will allow the user to enter their date of birth. We'll then add in some custom JavaScript to work out whether or not the visitor is old enough to view the website. Feel free to jump to any of these methods using the timestamps below. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The first step in creating our AgeGate feature is to create the entry denied pop-up. This will show if the user selects no via our button method, or if they enter a date of birth which doesn't fit within our parameters. We'll configure this pop-up so that the user is unable to navigate past it, therefore restricting access to underage visitors. Let's head over to Templates, Pop-ups, to create this. We'll add a new pop-up, give it a name, create the template, and dismiss the library. Select the gear icon first and let's configure some basic settings. We'll set our width to 100 VW and the height to fit to screen. Leave overlay as hidden as our design already fills the user's screen. Hide the close button to eliminate this way of a user bypassing the entry denied screen. And then we'll set some subtle animations for the pop-up. Now in the Style tab, we'll set a gradient background, the primary color, the secondary color, and the type. Switch over to the Advanced tab now, and let's further strengthen our pop-up to restrict a user being able to close it. We can leave Prevent Closing on Overlay as it is, as our design doesn't use this function. If yours does, however, you will want to enable this to stop your visitors being able to close the pop-up. Prevent Closing on Escape key, we will enable to stop the user being able to close the pop-up using this method. This combined with the lack of a close button will make it difficult for a user to bypass the entry denied screen. Finally, we'll disable the page scrolling when the pop-up is displayed. Let's now add in a new single column section and build our entry denied message. Set the height to fit to screen and the column position to stretch. Select the column handle and then set the vertical align to middle and the horizontal align to center. If we now open the widgets menu, you'll see we've already added several widgets to our favorites for easy access. Drop in the logo widget first of all, then drop in the heading widget. Here we'll amend the text like so, alignment, then in the style tab, the size, and the line height. In the advanced tab next, we'll unlink the margin values and add 60 pixels to the top. Now add in the text editor widget. We'll add in our entry denied message, set the alignment, font size, line height, and then add some margin. OK, this is looking great so far and will provide a clear message to our visitors if they happen to be underage. We're going to save this as a template first of all, as it will provide us with a good base for creating our age gate pop-ups, saving us lots of time. 
Select the arrow next to the Publish button and then choose Save as Template. Give the template a name and save. Dismiss the window and now publish the Entry Denied pop-up. We'll add a condition so that the pop-up can be loaded on any page of our website. Once finished, save and close. With our Entry Denied pop-up created and saved as a template, we're now ready to create our first age gate. Using your keyboard, bring up the Elementor Finder by typing Command or Control E, then type Pop-ups, add a new pop-up, give your pop-up a name like so, and create template. Select My Templates and insert the template that we've just created. Let's now make some adjustments. We'll delete the heading first, and then amend the text like so. Choose the Widgets menu next and add in the Inner Section widget. Now drop in the Button widget. We'll set the text to No and then select the Dynamic Tags icon where we'll choose Pop Up from the drop down. Selecting the Wrench icon allows us to choose an action. And then we can search for a previously created pop up. When selected, this button will now launch the Entry Denied pop-up. Adjust the alignment next, and then in the Style tab, we'll set our background colour. Right-click the button next and copy it. Now in the empty column, let's paste the button. We'll amend the text this time to say Yes, and under the Link options, choose the Wrench icon, and this time choose Close Pop-up under Actions. We'll enable the Don't Show Again option to ensure our users do not see this message again whilst browsing our website. Then we'll set the alignment. Now publish and set our display conditions. We'll first set this to show to our entire website. This way it doesn't matter which page a user lands on, they will always see the pop-up regardless. Under Triggers, we'll toggle On Page Load to Yes, and then Save and Close. Let's now test this out. Be sure to open up an incognito window to ensure your testing is effective. We'll visit the website, and as you can see, the Age Gate pop up appears straight away. If we select No, the Entry Denied message appears and stops us from accessing the website's content. Let's do a hard reload now and this time we'll select Yes. The pop-up now disappears and allows us to continue viewing the website's content. OK, we've made great progress so far and learned how to create one method of an age gate. Let's now move on to the acceptance method. Let's add a new pop-up, give it a name, and create. Add in our pre-created template next. Delete the heading and amend the text. In the Widgets menu, let's drop in the Forms widget. Delete the first two fields, as these aren't needed, and now amend the third field. We'll change the type to Acceptance, delete the label, set this as a required field, and then add in our Acceptance text. Expand the Buttons tab now, Enter the button text and configure the alignment. In the additional options area, we'll enable custom messages and then remove the success message. We've removed this because we're not using the form to actually submit any information and do not require any messages to appear via the form widget. Expand actions after submit and remove all of the default selections. Now add in a new selection and choose Pop-up. Open the new Pop-up tab and select Close Pop-up under Actions. Set Don't Show again as Yes. With the functionality of our acceptance box created, let's now apply some styling. We'll set our typography first. Font size. Weight and line height. Now the buttons. 
the font size, background color, text color, followed by the hover text color. Now in the advanced tab, we'll set the positioning to a custom width like so. Let's now publish and test this age gate method out. Select publish, followed by adding a condition to load this pop-up across our entire website. Under triggers, we'll set this to load on page. If we now save and close, then open up a fresh incognito window, you'll see the acceptance box message appears. And if we try to enter without checking the box, we're not granted access to the website. But if we do check the box, the pop-up disappears and allows us in. The third and final method will teach you how to create an age gate pop-up where the user has to enter their date of birth. If they are old enough to view the website's content, the pop-up disappears and doesn't show for them again. If they're not old enough, they're presented with the entry deny pop-up, which they cannot bypass. Let's find out how to do this. Add a new pop-up and give it a name, then create. Insert the pre-created pop-up from earlier on. Delete the heading and amend the text. From the widgets menu, drop in the form widget. Delete the first two fields and then expand the third field and change it to the date field. Delete the label, delete the placeholder, set it as required, toggle the native HTML to yes, and in the advanced tab, enter date of birth, all lowercase with no spaces in the ID field. Now expand the Buttons tab. Set the alignment, the button text, and in the button ID, enter date of birth submit, all lowercase and with no spaces. Expand Actions after Submit, then delete the Collect Submissions and Email options. Now add in a pop-up option. Open the newly added pop-up tab. Under Action, select Close Pop-up and don't show again, we'll set to yes. Finally, in the additional options area, switch on custom messages and leave the success message blank. We've kept open the previous pop-up, so let's copy the styles from that form, and then paste them onto ours to save time. Okay, great stuff, we're making good progress so far. Let's just double check our pop-up settings before we add our custom JavaScript to enable the functionality. The close button is hidden and our advanced settings are configured. Open the widgets menu now and drop in the HTML widget. Within the HTML widget, paste in the JavaScript code, which you can copy from the video description. Just be sure to add the opening and closing script tags to ensure this works correctly. Before we amend and test this code, let's learn exactly what this JavaScript does. First you'll notice that our JavaScript is enclosed within script tags. This is important as it tells the browser what type of code this is. Please note you will need to add these yourself when copying the code from this video description. Next, we have targeted the ID of the button in our form using an event listener. This tells the browser to perform an action when this button is clicked. Now we must target the date field within the form and apply some actions to test whether or not the user is old enough to enter our website. The JavaScript works by taking today's date and subtracting the user's date of birth. If the user is 18 or younger, the access denied pop-up will launch. We've also included a fail-safe configuration here so that the form is not submitted if a user is underage. Without this, the user could simply refresh their page and access the website's content. If the user is old enough, the pop-up simply disappears and is not shown to the user again. We've also included another failsafe which displays an error message in case the user tries to submit the form with no date of birth. 
We have just one amendment to make to this code, which is to add the ID of our entry denied pop-up. Type Command or Control E to open the Elementor Finder, type Pop-ups, and open this into a new tab. We'll locate the entry denied pop-up which we previously created and copy the ID which we can find in the shortcode field. Now head back to the AgeGate pop-up and paste this ID directly into the JavaScript code. OK, our pop-up is now created and ready to be published and tested. Select the Publish button. Set the pop-up to display across the entire website. Then under Triggers, set on page load to Yes. Once finished, save and close. Open up into a new incognito window and then visit your website. OK, let's test out all of the potential scenarios. If you try to enter the website without entering a date of birth, you can see the error message appears. If we enter an underage date of birth, you can see we're presented with the denied access message. Refresh now and let's enter a valid date of birth. Awesome! As you can see, the pop-up now disappears and we're allowed to access the website. And there we have it, three extremely effective methods of creating an age gate for your website. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and comment below with what you'd like to see us create in our next tips and tricks tutorial.